Uh, so, here's the deck that I am going to practice. Cthulhu Warrior. Strife Pro's build. Features no Beckoner of Evils and has Crazed Worshipper in here instead. Also has the possibility of Emperor Thorsening on the Bran Bronzebeard plus Doomcaller uh, to kind of secure the control matchup. I think it looks solid. I'll give it a shot. I think I just realized I've been getting unlucky because I haven't been drawing this card. Yeah, that card. Good card. So there's the choice to play Axe for armor up there. Um, I'm going to armor up because on turn 4 I could uh, Axe plus armor up. Since most other players I'd probably play Axe. I suspected aggressiveness of course. Casual 12 damage. I've played no Cthulhu cards. Try that. Ancient shield bear? Probably not. That's a good card. So in this matchup, uh, this is the matchup where I actually want to play specifically Huh, looks like Google Chrome is taking a lot of the network for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe that was just in passing. Uh, so in this matchup, this is the matchup where I want to play Bran Bronzebeard, Doomcaller. Wait, have I already forgotten to do that? Oh! I completely messed up. Well, I guess I can't do that anymore. This is why it's important to practice your decks. Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu. I bleed for Wow. I ruined the one advantage this deck has in the mirror, which is to have three Cthulhu's. So, you have the artifact. We'll have two Cthulhu's at least. Cthulhu so I have that going for me. I'm not sure about the uh, I think if you can actually play three Cthulhu's you don't worry about fatigue you just play Cthulhu and then Cthulhu and then Cthulhu but since I ruined it I think I have to plan for fatigue a bit he's playing Elise uh, which might mean he's not playing Doomcaller at least I have that going for me also 
But he could also be playing Demon Fire. I think I'm severely behind at the moment. Why not try out the decks you're considering to bring tournaments with friends so you can try them against the decks you expect to face? That's what I'm doing here right now. I'm trying out the deck against Ladder, which is a variety of opponents with a variety of decks. Smart, huh? I agree. I'm gonna wanna try to avoid playing those six health guys. I need to make sure to steal his cocoon. Probably. I can play this. First. You can't kill both of the emperors. Executed a 4-3. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Leading towards its bad. Oh, I have more armor for once. That's pretty good for me. You have to throw away a card. I think I can tr no, I can't play Sylvanas, I have to play Sylvanas to steal Cthulhu. Hmm. Brawl's gonna be a pretty bad card in this matchup. I'll probably brawl his uh, Emperors when he plays his set. Maybe I brawl the legendaries after they turn into legendaries. Metapod, asked Harden. Who knows what secrets will us? He's only hitting me for four a turn. Net four a turn. Two cards ahead of him in fatigue, but once I play the Doom Caller, I'll get one extra card in. Okay. Maybe he runs out of answers. I think I he's used no one shield sign, right? Hmm. It's time for the ultimate Luxter play. I guess I'm okay if he steals Crazed Worshipper. No, I'd rather him steal just a card tree, right? Welcome to the Grand Tournament, champion. Oh, come on. Astonishing. The feast of souls begins now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I have a Doom Caller in there. I think the goal is to try to get my Crazed Worshipper and Ran Bronzebeard down on the same turn. And then the next turn, play Doom Caller. The turn before that, I try to clear up the board as much as possible with Roll. He's playing both Elise and Doom Caller, that's not fair. Actually, not fair. Okay, I have to, I have to do some pretty lucky plays here. Pretty lucky. Something like playing Crazed Worshipper and then having it survive. That's pretty lucky. Or I can go Brand Bronzebeard and then try to have that one survive. That's even luckier. I like that. Go! Nice. Okay. And now he doesn't kill Brand Bronzebeard. And then I play Doomcaller. And then I get two Cthulhu's. Which is what I was trying to do the whole time. That's a pretty desperate play, but I'm pretty desperate. Desperado. We're good. We're good. <laughs> the symphony of terror begins. Astonishing. Astonishing. Yeah. This Hmm, kind of saved. Do I play Cthune? Nah, I probably play Crazed Worshipper first. I'm gonna make my Cthune get plus... plus... stuff. Hmm... So I know one of his cards is Cthune and one is the Golden Monkey. Does it even matter how big his Cthune is? Yeah, it matters whether my Cthulhu is bigger or his is. I think his was around 15. But mine's definitely bigger than his. The problem if I play Crazed Warship and he actually plays Cthulhu, it's not very good for me because his Cthulhu will get in a free hit on me. But I think I just play Cthulhu. Interesting. Will he play anything? Is the last card in his deck Cthulhu? I think next turn I play Crazed Worshipper and armor up. And then after that I play Cthulhu. Or maybe I set up Lethal. 19 plus 19 is 38. 80. Let's put some at 42. No, that's not Lethal. <laughs> that's not 2 turn I'll set up a 3 turn Lethal. Wait, maybe the answer was to never play any crown. Oops. Eh, I had to get past that somehow, right? Okay, so his hand is uh, Monkey plus Cthulhu. Alright, seems good. Well, he has to play Cthulhu, and then I kill his Cthulhu with my Cthulhu. No, I just hit face. No, I kill his... Uh, yeah, I have to kill his Cthulhu with my Cthulhu. Hmm. Oh! Replaced Cthulhu. <laughs> I guess because he knew that if he played Cthulhu, I would just kill his Cthulhu with my Cthulhu, and then he would always lose. Wow! It could have been deadly! It could have won! What a throw! Missed like his 1 in 500. 1 in 600? How many minions are there? That would have been a good way to end it. Deathwing? But actually shift Rosaris. You have like two chances. Or maybe BGH. I wouldn't have won him the game though. I learned a lot of things that game, it wasn't played that well. You asked for it. Victory or death. Oh, 
Alright, Cthulhu Warrior data stats for dragging your uh, thing down. I think it's got a learning curve. I don't claim to have played those matches perfectly, not at all. Come on, Freeze Mage. Good game. Yeah, yeah. I'm very good at pressing the button. Since I played in the days of Conquest format, I actually know this matchup fairly well, from the Warrior side. I've seen some Warriors throw games against Freeze Mages before. But I'm like someone who super doesn't throw this match. Because I, I just push the button and win. I wonder if it's worth playing Justicar yet. I haven't done the math yet. Like, if I go Cthune's Chosen Armor up, I'm getting two armor this turn. If I play the Justicar, and then I plan to do uh, Cthune's Chosen and Armor up again, and then I do Justicar Armor up. If you never miss an Armor up, that might be even better. It's close, and it probably doesn't matter. Also, if I do this, I can play on turn 7, the Ancient Shield there. Well played. <laughs> it's actually better to play the back floor right now. Sets up some pressure. Not that pressure is necessary, but pressure is nice. Like another way of winning. In case you don't win the more traditional way. The next turn I'll play Justicar and armor up, tank up rather, and then he might concede. Let the pain speak to me. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. So much fair will be paid. So much pain. Eh, if you want to draw the card, go ahead. Fatigue, whatever. The end is coming. Do I shield slam that card? The answer is probably. Execute. Execute makes sense. You can never get rid of my armor. Do I want to slam the card? Or would I axe it instead? I can draw a card. Two, three, five, four. Hmm, this card isn't good against Flame Strike. Just play this card. Then pass. I don't think Brand Ancient Shield Master is actually that good, since it's only gaining an additional 6. I can gain 14 already with Shield Master on there. Oh, Bar Sand, probably. Then I can do uh, Brand plus Shield Bear. Uh, and then also tank up. That's a bargain. I like getting it all. Or maybe I'm supposed to play Cthune and then Doom Caller it back twice. Who knows? It doesn't matter. I hope you like my invention. I guess gaining 24 armor can't possibly be that bad a play. 24 armor, I guess. <laughs> the light shall bring victory. Victory or death. Hmm. 
Hmm, new class. I hear that new class is actually really good against this deck. Wait, I should have kept Acolyte of Pain in this matchup. Oops. Job done. Greetings. Would have been a good turn to play Acolyte. So just shield slam the Cthulhu to dodge and team. Alright, I guess that'll be the plan. Looks like a heavy control priest, so most likely two and two. And... So, uh, step one is gonna be to play all the Cthulhu cards. Step two, play the Emperor Thorsan with at least uh, Cthulhu or Shield Slam and or uh, Doomcaller or Bran. I need to hit one of two things. Twice, if that makes sense. It, it probably makes sense. You guys are smart. Remember, Thorsan needs to hit one of Shield Slam or Cthulhu, and one of Doomcaller or Bran. I have to play Cthulhu, and then Shield Slam, and I need to play Bran, and then Doomcaller. It's a pretty fine dance. So, can I play Thorsten? I have Shield Slam and I have Doom Color. So, yes, I can do it. I guess this is the, uh. But I will play this card since. Better at the moment. If I can get a double discount on Emperor, that would be incredible. Probably never happens though. And if I can get an. I don't think it matters that much if I get an extra element from the Emperor discounts. Oh look, that cute priest just did some kind of combination. You're adorable, priest. Aww. Oh, so adorable. Alright, Thorsten, I have the prereqs. I have one of Shield Slam. The Shield Slam can no longer. The Shield Slam. This Shield Slam has to be used for Cthulhu. And Cthulhu only. No matter how desperate things get, unless the opponent is basically out of cards, I have to never play that Shield Slam. I've got the brand doom color combo. Welcome to the grand tournament, champion. Since ten plus zero equals ten. Embrace the void. Just a pinch of it. I'm gonna have at least a lot of time to assemble my combo wombo. Seems good. No He's got more minions than he usually would have. That's like the game changer in this matchup. If you don't specifically play Cthulhu and then Shield Slam Cthulhu, if the plan is to brand and Doom Caller, then you pretty much lose. Unless he has already played two and tombs, then you're okay. Okay, that shield slam can be used, but I will save it for something scarier. Does that priest run anything scarier? I don't know. Possibly no. That's good. Armor up or crazed worshiper? Tank up! Why make a decision today 
that I can make tomorrow in this very non-tempo oriented matchup. Welcome to the exhibit. And then he should go for as big a death rattle card as possible. Huh. Seems like a good day to brawl. Come on. That is definitely not the hoped for result. But it is still only 6 damage a turn. I mean, that card looks good, but it's only doing about the same amount of damage as Boulder Fist Ogre. He's only adding in 2 damage each turn. Wow. Here we go. Alright, 18 legendary deck. And go. Hmm. I think that means I'm okay to play Cthune without shield slamming Cthune. That means this shield slam I can now use. Kinda gross. Oh well, I've got plenty of time. Let the pain speak to me. The brawl has to be uh, saved for a while. Holy Jaraxxus! Okay, well that was a pretty good play on his side. Hmm. That's something that'll uh, get me actually needing to do stuff. can't use the execute on that. I have to brawl it. I should have played Fiery War Axe, I'm not sure why I didn't. I guess he could have Parasite of Jones on it. It's kind of silly though. That's a brawl, I think. Hmm, slam execute. I can wait one more turn. It would be nice if he had a dragon. That would be really good. I'll live the dream. Yeah! Okay, he's probably not going to be able to kill Bran, right? The dream is being lit right now. Legendaries don't usually deal damage with battle cries. Oh. Impressive. Wait, he played Cho instead of Inferno. That's insane. Or is it insane? Wait, lethal? No, no. Wait, lethal? No, yes. No, no, definitely not. What? <laughs> what? Sleep. Yeah, always lose. I didn't miss lethal, did I? Did I miss lethal? No, I surely didn't. There would have been an extra five, three, five, seven. No, I didn't miss. I don't think I missed. 
I just wanted the grand finish him with the Cthulhu, I think. Okay. Wilfred? What else is. Wilfred, Gruel, and Adis. Hmm. Eight and eight, that's expected. You cannot stop the Levi would have been super salty right there. Ultra salt. 